let's talk about the heat wave yes. that's coming. It's going to be too hot to run later this week. Yeah, exactly what, uh, you know, where I was going to go with that. Uh, numbers are going to be hotter than we've seen all summer long, really in a couple of years here across the Bay Area. So let's bring it into that microclimate forecast. And I wanted to basically show you what's happening with our heat wave. And we're going to begin to see this starting to develop as we head through tomorrow. Uh, now, temperatures are not going to reach their peak tomorrow, but the area of hot, high pressure that's going to be the source of this heat wave is going to begin to get a little bit stronger to the south. So I see numbers warming up a few degrees tomorrow. Still got some fog at the coastline. Then eventually this high pressure builds into the Pacific and that's where it gets stronger. So we're going to get you back here to this heat and the latest on some new updates on the temperatures in less than two minutes. But I want to take it right into tomorrow morning's forecast. And you can see that fog is yet again back for us here through the Bay Area. Most of this clears back by 1030 in the morning for that sunshine and temperatures to start tomorrow. You're going to want to enjoy this right now. We have widespread upper 50s and low 60s here through the Bay Area. 59 in the South Bay over to the East Bay 58 San Francisco 55 and the North Bay at 56. So numbers going up a couple degrees, but again, the heat wave isn't starting just yet. So down here in the South Bay, we can definitely handle this 83 in Cupertino 90 in Morgan Hill over to the East Bay. I have it at 80 in Vallejo 93 Pleasanton 79 in Hayward. The Peninsula 65 Half Moon Bay over to Redwood City 79 San Francisco. We're still in the 60s, uh, the warmest here in the Mission at 69 and through the North Bay. I have it up to 99 in Ukiah. Otherwise, 88 here in Sonoma down to Mill Valley 78. So let's get it back to the heat wave. We showed you that area high pressure that's developing to the south tomorrow. And again, as we hit later on this week, it's going to start to move into the Pacific and get stronger. So Thursday and Friday, I do see numbers approaching 100, but this heat wave really starts to pick up steam and get much, much hotter here once we hit Saturday's forecast with that dangerous heat. So right now, no big changes here on our heat warning that's in place for the entire Bay Area. I still see places like San Francisco getting up into the 80s. Coastal areas, certainly the 70s and inland valleys could get up as hot as 110 degrees. So how does this compare to our all time hottest temperatures? That's always a great way to show you uh, where we're going to be on the scale of things. And what you'll see is Monday now looks like that would be the hottest day in the upcoming forecast for Labor Day at Gilroy getting up to about 107 based on the current forecast. All time hottest in Gilroy ever was 115. Also live more 106. All time hottest is 113. Now we may need to make some more adjustments to these temperatures, but right now we're getting close. It doesn't look like all time heat, but definitely record setting on my forecast here in San Francisco. We get into those 80s this upcoming weekend and into Labor Day drops by next Tuesday. And for the inland valleys, we get to 102 Saturday 107 on Monday, just scorching for us and Tuesday 101. Now it's all relative. We have had the fog saving us here. This Central Valley has been dealing with temperatures like this on and off for quite some time. It's been a really brutal summer for them. They're used to the heat, but uh, fog's just not going to be able to save us at this point. Okay, this well, we're just going to have to grin and bear it and yep. hope Get for the best. It. All yep. right, Thanks, thank you, Jeff. Jeff.